is the beginning of unit eight transformations and then we'll spend a, a little bit of time on volume formulas and volume the reason we've been doing stuff with circles is because it's what's coming into play with our volume formulas today we're going to be working with translation in each of your notes um, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4, I've highlighted letters. And that's because those letters hopefully will help you remember what it is. So for a translation, I've highlighted the S and the L. And what a translation is, is I want you to think of a slide. And that's why we highlighted the S and the L, because where we slide, we're just moving it, sliding it around the coordinate grid. So it moves each point of a figure the same direction and the same distance. So it can move it up and to the right, it can move it up and to the left, it can move it down and to the right, down and to the left, but it's moving every single point that's been graphed the same direction and the same distance. So like I said, the points can move up and down and they could also move, they can and do this or just do this. They could just move up or down or left or right, or they could do both. They can go up and to the right. They obviously can't go up and down, but, and so this would be left and right. All right, so things that we need to know. Same reason we've been testing on vocabulary X and Y axis, because our X and Y axis are going to tell us which directions we're moving. So if they give us an X value, this X value is going to let us know whether we're going to move left. And if we're moving left, that's a negative. Or right. And if we're moving right on a number line, we're moving in the positive direction. So that's what the X value tells us, where the Y value is going to tell us whether we move down which would represent negative, or up, which would repre sorry, represent positive. So with a verbal description, it may just say translate, again, slide. We're going to slide the figure four units to the left. So this is saying take whatever your x values are, move it four units to the left, and then go two units up. And you're going to do that to every single point. So algebraically, what it's going to look like, this is what our rule looks like. We start with our X and our Y. Every thing that we're doing starts with the original X value, the original Y value. But since this is take my X values, because we're going four units left and two units up, I'm going to look right here, four units left. Left means I'm going negative. So I'm going to take my X value and I'm going to go four units to the left. That's why it's minus four. And then I'm going to take my y value, and this tells me to go two units up. And up means plus. So I'm going to take and add two to each y value. So this is what it would look like algebraically. We start with our original, and each x value I'm going to subtract four from. Each y value I'm going to add two. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. Um, first thing that we're going to look at is this says take triangle ABC and translate it or slide the triangle six units left and four units down. So first thing we need to do is find our points for A, B, and C. They've given us A, which was at two and four. That's right here. B is at six and seven. Six and seven, and C is at seven and three. This was from your vocabulary. So pre image, pre in language arts means before or the beginning. So pre is what it is, the very beginning, and image is after it's moved. So you're going to have a prime. It's kind of like, here's my nice clean copy. Then you went to the copy machine to make an image of your picture and somebody left something there, so you have this mark that's called prime, and that is how you know that that is the object that's been moved. So original, B, and then moved, or B prime. Original C value, and then C prime, which is the one that's been moved. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. 
this says go six units to the left and four units down. So you can take each A value, or sorry, each value and move it six units left. So I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it says go four units down. One, two, three, four. That would be my first point. And so then I would say that that is where A prime is. It started here, I moved left and down. I'm going to do the same thing. So now this point would be at negative 4, 0. That's where A prime ended. Then I'm going to do the same thing for B. So I'm going to move it 6 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to go 4 units down. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this becomes B prime, which is now at 0, 3. And then my last one would be C prime. And I could take and go C would go six to the units to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And four units down, one, two, three, four. And that would be at one, negative one. Connect those. And this is why it's a slide. I could take this original shape right here and just slide it over and then down, and it would end up exactly the same, in the same. Um, that's why it's called a rigid transformation, which is what we'll get to in just a minute. So now we're going to look and describe how our translation or our slide affected the x and y values of each vertex on the triangle. So as we look at our x values, my original x value started at 2 and it ended at negative 4. This one started at 6 and ended at 0. This one started at 7 and ended at 1. So what happened to each of my x values? Did each x value increase or decrease? Hopefully you said that it increased. Just kidding. Hopefully you didn't say that it increased. Hopefully you said that it decreased because we started at 2 and ended at a negative number. We started at 6 and ended at 0. We started at 7 and ended at 1. How much did it decrease by then? And hopefully you said it decreased by 6 because we went 6 units left. Now we're going to look at our y values. My y value started at negative 4 and then it became 0. This y value started at 7 and it became 3. This y value started at 3 and it became negative 1. So did my y values increase or decrease? And hopefully again you said they decreased and they decreased by 4. So now we're going to write algebraically what we did. We took our original x and our original y. And when you write algebraically you don't have to show this part every time you could just show what we're going to do now. You don't have to do this every time. I'm just showing you. We took our original x and original y. Each x value, we went left six units. So left means that we're going negative and six. And this is why some of you will get your points first here and then graph it. Some of you are going to have to count every time. But if you look, this says take whatever our original x was. Well, x was two. We take 2 and replace it. We do 2 minus 6. We're going to get negative 4, which is exactly what we had right here. Then it says take each y value, and it tells me to go down 4 units. So down means negative 4. This right here is the algebraic representation, saying take every x and subtract 6 from it. Take every y, subtract 4 from it. You'll get your new value. So kind of as an example, we had the point 2 comma 4. This says take your x value, which is 2, and we're going to subtract 6. Now my new value is going to be at negative 4, which is exactly what we had right here in that one. And then it says take my y value and subtract 4. Well, 4 minus 4 is 0. And if you look, that's exactly what we had right here. So there's just an example of plugging in. All right, so let's look at this one. This is important that you understand the difference between pre-image and just image. So it says, use a translation of GHIJ to answer the questions. So this is saying, this is my original, my nice clean copy. There's no marks on it. It's perfect. Nothing's wrong with it. So we took and we moved this to right here. So to get an 
this is where I tell you, take one value, take G, H, I, or J, I don't care which one you take, and you're gonna use that one as your starting point. So if I started at G, to get to this G, I can see that I moved to the left, and I moved up. So I know that I'm gonna say right here, I'm gonna move left, I gotta figure out how many left I moved, and up this many. So I'm gonna start at G, I realize that I went from here and then I turned and went up. So I need to figure out how many left I went. So I'm gonna count, and some of you guys won't count. You'll say I started at two, I ended at negative five. If you wanna do it that way, have at it. So I'm gonna count and I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I moved seven units to the left. Then I'm gonna count up, one, two, three, four four units up. So verbally, we would say, okay, take each point, move it seven units left and four units up, or move left seven and up four. Either one of those is great. Algebraically, again, we started with our original X and we started with our original Y. We took each X value and we moved it left seven, so we're gonna subtract seven. We took each Y value and we went up four, so we're gonna add Four. That's what it would look like algebraically. Now, it says, does this translation or does this slide show a rigid transformation? I want you to look in your notes and figure out what a rigid transformation is. So, is it a rigid transformation? Yes, because rigid transformation means that it stays the same size, same shape. I didn't change anything about this original shape. All I did was slide it over and then up, and it would be exactly the same. So does it show rigid transformation? Yes, same size, same shape. It keeps it congruent. All right, number three. It says a coordinate for triangle, this should say the coordinates for triangle A, B, or R, A, D are given in the table. Fred plans to translate the triangle nine units, right? Nine units down. So I know that nine units right means I'm adding nine and nine units down means I'm subtracting nine. We just need to figure out where those go. So again, pre-image points are nice, no marks. Our image points are gonna have that prime. Represents starting point, that prime right there represents ending point. So R prime, A prime, and D prime. This says, describe how you could find the coordinates for the image without physically moving it. So without physically counting, like I was showing you here, like I went one, two, and I counted those, how could we do it? Hopefully you're thinking, well, I can write out this thing. So this tells me that I start with X, and it says, take your X and go nine units to the right. Well, X values are always my left and right, so that's why on this one, I would write, X, sorry, I'm trying to get a new pen, but I'm struggling here. So we'd have X, and since I'm going to the right, it would be X plus nine. So X plus, X plus nine. And then this says take each Y value, and since this says go down, it would be minus nine. So can I find each value? I for sure can find each value. I can take and put in negative seven. So my original point was negative seven comma negative two. Now what I need is to add nine to this and subtract nine from this. So if I'm at negative seven and I add nine, my new point would be two. If I'm at negative two and I subtract nine, I'm going deeper into the negative, so now I'd be at negative 11. There's my first point. Do the same thing for A and the same thing for D. I should say A prime and D prime. All right, the last thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna be given some things that look like this and they're gonna want you to write the rule for it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It says the coordinates of a pre-image, pre-image before movement, image after movement, um, are given. Use the points to give a verbal description and an algebraic representation of the translation. So you're gonna start, this is my X, and it moved to here. So thinking of a number line, so you're thinking of your number line, these are my X's, 
these are my y's. Right now I'm currently at negative 12, which is right here. When I moved, I slid it this way and ended up at negative one. So hopefully you can tell if I start here and end it at negative one, I went left. So you could just say move left. Now you gotta figure out how much it was. Well, to get from 12 to zero, that would have been 12 and then one more would be 13. So I moved left 13. And then I'm gonna look at my Y's. I started, that's a Y, I started at seven, I ended at 14. So that means I started at seven here. If I ended at 14, it means I ended up here. So I moved left 13 and I moved up seven. Algebraically, that would say take your each X value and subtract 13. And you could look, is 12 minus 13 negative one? Yes, so that's right. Then it says take each Y value and add seven because I went up. So is seven plus seven 14? Yes, so then I'm done. All right, so then we go to here. I started at negative six and I slid to negative one. So I started right here at negative six and I slid to negative one. So if I'm here and end here, I move to the right. So I'm gonna put move right. And so how many to the right did I move? And then I started at negative eight and I ended at positive one. So negative eight is down here and I ended at positive one. So I went up, how many? And then write it algebraically and then do the same thing for R and R prime here.